So in this video, I'm going to unbox the X-Lite 100 Smart Tail Light, install it on my Backfire Ranger X1 skateboard, and then take it on a test ride and give you a quick review of it. So what's the difference between this and say a shred light, which every e-skater probably has, myself included? So the way it works is that X-Lite has built-in sensors to detect motion. So when you're slowing down and applying the brakes on your skateboard remote, the smart tail light lights up. You also don't need to turn it on or off each time you ride. And if you set the light to auto, it automatically turns on and off, which I think is super convenient. So you can buy a single light for $19 or a set of two for $35. You can buy this off of Amazon or any other uh, online shopping website. I chose to purchase it directly from the Backfire website since it comes with custom brackets to attach it to your skateboard. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's do a quick unboxing. And a quick unboxing it was. <laughs> Aside from the box it shipped in, there's no actual product box. It's basically just this. Uh, it didn't even come with any instructions. Uh, but here's what we have. We have a USB charging cable. We have two brackets to attach the lights to your skateboard and then the lights itself. And that's it. All right, on to the installation. So, using the tool that comes with every skateboard, you unscrew the nuts around the rear truck. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't access those nuts directly under the truck, so I had to remove it first. And once that's out of the way, I took off the washers. Some of them I had to pry off with a knife blade. So after that, I put the first bracket on and lock it down with the washers and nuts. On the back of each light, there's a switch that allows you to go from manual to auto. Auto mode turns the lights on and off whenever it detects motion. The on and off button is on the front of the light. So it's a pretty straightforward install. Uh, I repeat the steps on the other side. I reattach my rear truck and voila, it's alive. The on and off switch on the front of the light also controls different light modes. I, I believe there's like a fast blink and a slow pulsing and I think that's it. gonna take the X1 out for a test ride um, and right off the bat you see I just touched it and the lights turned on automatically all right let's take this bad boy out all right so I've got my insta360 camera mounted on a selfie stick I'm riding through my neighborhood right now right off the bat you can see like one light goes on and the next light will go on just kind of intermittently as well. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. At least not that I can tell. And then with my first brake test coming up, it doesn't seem to work. You see right here. I come to a full stop and like one light goes on, but the other light does not. So then the second time I brake, both lights go on. That seemed to work but I don't know why. And then again, one light goes on <laughs> for no reason. I mean, I'm, I'm still accelerating. I don't know if it senses like turns or not because it didn't come with any direction. So I don't know what's going on actually with these lights. And now both lights go on and I don't know why. It seems pretty random to me. So here, my final brake test, both lights seem to come on. So I hop off my board and see for myself what's going on. As you can see here, I do a few tests and it all seems to work consistently. I don't know what's going on. So one thing that occurs to me is perhaps it was too bright out when I tested it. So I decided to take a second test ride when it was dark outside and here's what we have. Unfortunately, the lights actually seem to be more inconsistent at night. You'll see in the following braking demos where it just doesn't seem to be working at all. I'm not sure what's going on, um, but I think these lights just, they're just not great. My closing thoughts are the lights are inconsistent. They're not super expensive, so you know, you get what you pay for. I think the nice thing about these lights that are slightly better than the shred lights is that um, they just automatically turn on. So that's it. That's my review of the X-Lite 100 Smart Tail Lights. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving me a like and subscribing. 